This could be on your next exam. Make sure to try it out and understand what to do. Okay, so I know this is going to leave. This already is gonna be a tertiary carbocation, so I don't have to worry about rearrangements. And I know the only thing that's going to attach on is the oxygen and that methyl group. That would be our product for acid one. Let's now look at E1. So I'm gonna look at the different options here. This would be our carbocation. Where are the different places that I'm taking from? Well, looking at this carbocation, the neighboring carbons and really hydrogens that I'm gonna take from are these. And again, you're only taking one hydrogen. So I'll show this. Let's say if I started with this one, okay, one of these hydrogens, I know that these electrons are gonna move here and that's gonna form our first product. So it would look like that. And again, I'll show this in blue just so you see where it went. That's one option. Another place we said could have been here. Doesn't matter which one I chose, which hydrogen, I can move this there. Okay, and now we formed our double bond here. Now, what if I chose this place, so this hydrogen here? Well, that would be the same thing as this one because this is a methyl group, this is a methyl group, and just look at how it would be drawn. Those are the same thing. Okay, so there are only these products. Looking at the E1 products, which one would be the major? This has one, two, and three substituents versus this one has one and two. All right, the one that has more substituents wins. So this is the major and this is the minor. What you just saw was a glimpse from my Organic Chemistry 1 course, and hundreds of students are signing up understanding organic chemistry, and I want you to understand with them. Click the link below, join community today, and pass your exam tomorrow.